Good morning, everyone. So today we are discussing about uh, problems and pitfalls in uh, importing and export. Yes, into this perspective, it is quite important to understand uh, how the phenomena of uh, importing and exporting is going to take place at the international level. Basically, it is going to get start with uh, the amount of uh, documentation so you need to start with the licensing even before shipment quality check a number of considerations will be there correct so in spite of everything we do have some other momentum where we are going to face problems first point is about a financial risk case into financial risk basically exporter is going to face uh, this particular problem in the initial stage where he may not able to have a sufficient fund to produce a complete quantum of goods which has been ordered by importer so he need to take advance correct that advance may not be sufficient to produce and uh, no one importer will be ready to give 100% of amount which is being fixed for the contract so exporter is going to start facing financial risk so here in this particular problem he need to approach a banker for production as well as shipment he need to borrow some of the funds which may cost to him but he need to try and where you come to importers view point even though he has paid advance to this exporter by chance if a poor quality of goods have been supplied the goods are not up to the mark then absolutely everyone will be under problem the importer complete advance amount is going to be zero so it has no value for that correct yeah he may take uh, some of the legal steps in future but for that moment financial risk is associated second point is about uh, customer management yes it is one of the good question with respect to the amount of uh, how to manage our clients in a better prospective manner yes it is very much true that uh, we need to identify the requirement of our clients and uh, most of the exporters the uh, biggest problem is that they may not able to diagnose the quality expected by the importer based upon his viewpoint okay maybe your production may get delay for a day or two but try to understand your client's expectations first what do they want how do they want the product what amount of quality they are expecting okay and uh, please understand that importers country and their market phenomena in case any kind of suggestions can be given by your end to your importer you can give those suggestions so that customer management will be so fruitful and uh, your products whatever you have sold to your importer surely he will be so happy to proceed further and he is going to be your regular customer maybe in future loyal customer also correct 
and the third point is about the lack of international business experience very much true it is not going to get end with the, one of the contract agreement correct so n number of uh, activities need to be associated and need to be addressed probably you need to check it out with your government whether this particular commodity is there in the list for leading to export ready to export whether that permission is there from your country or not as well even you need to check it out with the importers country also what amount of customization you need to do to make sure that particular government in the sense importers country government is ready to accept that so in case if you are not going to put these efforts then it's going to be a problem a fourth point is about uh, marketing barriers yes this is the question as such like uh, sometime your importer is ready to give a platform to you that's a open platform where yourself can go and occupy that particular market by selling your own products by your own stake and only for the name sake he will be considering himself as a importer then you need to study that market what exactly the strategy you are trying to implement how to deal with those clients correct so all these points you need to understand then your efficiency can get certain amount of results otherwise it's going to be a biggest problem top management commitment as you are naming it it's a export licensing you have received but that may not be sufficient correct top level management commitment should be there in the initial years till the time your business is going to get settled down for numerous amount of contracts top level management commitment is mandatory maybe for few years not definitely for the lifetime but in the initial stage for few years if the top level management is not ready to get involved maybe it's going to be a problematic trade regulations so try to understand customs duties quota restrictions from your country if they do think that your organization is not feasible in terms of offering the products as per the quality requirement of importers country probably your export license may get cancelled at any moment of time so try to understand the regulations of your country as well even that importers country also the last point is about uh, trade documentation maybe your iec code is not sufficient correct that's a point we were discussing in the initial stage so you need to maintain numerous amount of documents where we have already dealt in one of the session steps and documentation for the export and import activities correct so you need to make a list of those documentations which are required completely and even certain moment of time if your product commodity is so special category which needs some other documents also apart from the listed documents yes you need to keep filing it properly and submit it to the authorities and get it sanctioned yes with this note uh, we people have completed about the problems associated with the exim export and import activities thank you to everyone